This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on web development too. I'm on level 16, Sibling Rivalry. Let's see. Goals. Select one image. Select one div. The sibling function returns a list of neighboring elements. And an element in HTML... Well, we'll show you. All right, let's see here. Start. To select neighboring elements, use siblings. Use this unfocus element next to the target. These are HTML comments, right? So they're for programmers, not for the code to run. Elements are neighbors when they are when they're at similar indentation. So what's an element? Elements this stuff down here. All of this HTML down here, and I know it's HTML because style has ended. So this is going to be my HTML. What's an element is image. That's one element. Image is another element. This div tag, this is an HTML element. This and div starts here. It ends with a slash down there. Okay. These divs don't interact with the images above. Yep, they are below it. All right. So what's it want us to do? Use the remove class to remove SEL from siblings. What? Okay siblings dot add class mute okay what is siblings target variable siblings is what target element siblings what's target element oh target element is this what is this we learned about last lesson this is whatever's running the function so let me see here Selectable, on click. So whatever element I click on, is the function's going to run when I click. Okay? And whatever element I click on, on click, function, focus select so, runs. So click, oh, focus select. Okay, it starts running. This is whatever I clicked on for it to run. So if I click on this, well now, focus select just ran again. Except that time, this was the horse. Okay, I'm going to hit. And it keeps changing. Whatever I click on becomes the this. And it runs through and says, all right, whatever this is, make that equal to target element. So if I click on horse, it says clicked on horse, run. Okay, this was horse. Target element equals horse then. Target element dot siblings. What are its siblings? Okay, well, that's similar elements around the indentation. Well, where's image indented at? Here, here, and here. Okay, if I look at divs, oh, wait, this div ends the invitation. So it must only be the stuff around it right here. This looks like this is somewhat similar or this is somewhat similar, but it ends. So it's only this stuff. So what's it do again? Okay, well, remember, we clicked horse, it ran horse target element was this so this was horse horse equals target element we then grabbed the siblings of the target element which were the other images because they were at the same indentation we then said siblings add class mute what the heck is mute well let's go down to our style in between style and style is our css mute is right here what does mute do oh it makes the opacity equal to 0 0.1 which is 10 percent opacity means how see-through it is so, this code adds the class from CSS, mute, right, which makes something see-through. So, for instance, if I can add a class in the HTML, where the style ends, the HTML starts, myself, class equals, in quotes, I'm going to write mute. Watch what happens. Everything goes, disappears on us, because now everything has that class mute, as opposed to the code, which has it only run when we click on an element. All right. Now, let's get to what we're editing. Use the remove class to remove select. What's SEL do? Background color green. Use the remove class to remove from siblings. Okay, so I guess I want... Remove class. S E L comma use add class to add select to the target. What's the target? Well, it's the variable we made target element.
Oops, target element, add, class, SEL, let's try, green, green, we're getting into super complicated stuff, and I want you to understand, if you're just looking at this code, trying to write it down and think you're going to be all right, you're not, you have to actually understand logically how this is working. Go watch this again. Go listen to me again. You do want to understand it. You can do some excellent, excellent, incredible things with code. We're going to be able to make games and all of that, but you can if you don't get these basics. Okay? So make sure you understand what you're writing. This is what worked for me. Um, let's uh let's keep going.